So we are going to a musician's haven, haven, heaven, whatever, Sam Ash. We are going to get a guitar fixed because it's broken. Ha <laughs> ha, uh, obviously. So I'm here with uh, Brewmeister, right there, and he's uh, driving the good old, good old faithful first car. And um, it is uh, 2.44 in the afternoon on this Saturday, the, what's it, the 18th of March, 17th of March, something like that, 18th of March, I think. And um, I just have one question for you all. Considering this is completely off of the beautiful weather and everything, right? by the way, no coat, no jacket. He's wearing a jacket, but he's weird like that. He's got a t-shirt on, I think that's why. Sunny, gorgeous day. Um, the U.S. and France and the Great Britain has come together. The Great Britain. Did I say the Great Britain? <laughs> I meant Great Britain. Has come together to, um, I guess, do military operations or something in Libya. So, I have two questions for you. First one is, do you think Gaddafi can be overthrown and removed from power uh, by the joint forces. No. Why not? Because Gaddafi has a lot of established politicians that are based in his family. In order to overthrow him, you have to overthrow his family and have to have those people go against him. They won't. That's the reason why they have so much problems right now. And why they have all these airstrikes and such. Because even the heads of military are family. Put your hand away. Huh? Put your hand up just for now. Because I can't hear you. Yes. And... Um, also, because just because there's a military presence, I don't believe that that'll be enough to overthrow him. I think they would have to use force. They, uh, they can't ask him to step down. They want something. They don't. Okay. My second follow-up question to this would be... Bus or um, yeah, it's, it's like a transport. It's a weird bus, isn't it? Look at the back of it. It's got like... It's like much different lights. Septicon. It's weird. Um, so my next question would be, do you think that this potentially could be the start of... World War Three, because if you think about it, right, when World War One and World War Two started, they weren't called World War One and World War Two, like you know, blah, 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 in the beginning. Like afterwards, everybody was like, "Hey, this was a world war." So, do you think the three of them ganging up against Libya would cause other people to come and support Libya, and then other people to come and support us, and then all these different nations fighting against one another? Do you think that this is the beginning of World War Three? Are we witnessing history? I think we're actually witnessing history for sure, but I don't know. I don't think this is the beginning of World War Three. Not yet. Do you think there will ever be a World War Three with all of the different alliances and stuff that we've all formed? There will be at some point because there's still the civil war going on in Pakistan and India. There's still the wars that are going on with Iraq and Iran and Afghanistan. There's still the fighting. But those are separate individual wars. Individual. That's what I'm saying, though. But. Um, all of their economies are reliant on each other and as soon as one of them faces a severe like Libya of course has ha, might have a severe threat but I don't think right now would be the start of World War III I would say that once the other nations start getting pressure because they are supporting Libya or that we want them to support us then will become the start of World War III because then those nations with their small little spats are going to pick sides and others will pick sides and next thing you know everyone's going to be fighting and there becomes World War III. So there will be a World War, a World War III but this is not the beginning of it. This isn't the beginning yet. I would say once... What if, let's say, what if we go in there, right, and we realize that it's harder to do that than we thought and we have to bring in other countries into it and Libya brings in, let's say, I don't know, whoever supports them, right? So, would you then consider that to be World War III? No. No? Still? Why because not? You have to think about it this way. Libya's main supporters are countries that the other main countries are still against anyways. So it wouldn't be as though there's a world war. I mean, it is. there would be some fighting going on, but it wouldn't be consistent of a world war. It wouldn't be of different areas having these huge major wars. Because... Mm -hmm. This, it would still be like us against terrorism to a certain extent, or Great Britain against terrorism to a certain extent, because their main backers are Muslim extremist countries. So, it wouldn't be... War on terrorism, by the way, is just a horrible label. Because you can't know. defeat terrorism. You can defeat 
a country or defeat like a certain group or something like that. We can't defeat terrorism. That's like the war against war. You know what I mean? It's kind of stupid. Anyways, um, I had another question and now I forgot what it is. I think it was concerning Japan. Japan, 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 Japan. I can't remember, but when I do, I will come to it. But have you noticed um, that they on Japan? One thing I saw that, uh, that I've noticed that's really interesting is that it just it gives a huge um, props to their culture. Is although it is a collectivism type of culture, so there is um, pressure towards it. Where to go? Go that way. Where am I? You're gonna go there? turn. You're gonna turn like when we were going to um to Dallas Barbecue. Whoa, watch this guy. You have to be over there to the last lane. The last lane. Or if this lane turns, then I guess that's fine. Um, That's our mall, you guys. Just so you know. Yeah, I'll go say. Um, although it is a collectivism type of society and there is um, repression amongst their people. Uh, in Japan? Yeah, in Japan. Um, it is still a reasonably uh, amazing feat what they're doing. Because if you, there's two things that they're doing that I thought are really awesome. And that is... Can I have to turn this way? Yeah, then you're going to make a left. Uh, that is that um no wait actually just go straight on this because this is Queen's Boulevard right here yeah. mm -hmm. that is that uh, at, even though they've suffered look at all the other nations and when they've had huge major disasters look at Haiti Haiti had their thing their earthquake mm -hmm. you know you look Chile. at Chile you look at um, these other countries that have had major natural disasters and one of the main things that goes against them. There's always something that happens afterwards. I won't lead to it yet because I want to bring up my point. But um, Japan had an earthquake mm -hmm. and a tsunami, and they're having a nuclear threat. Yet there hasn't been one reported incident of looting. Oh, in that's Japan. true. No looting. You're right. Mm -hmm. uh, not a raise in crime. There's no raise in murders, there's no raise in robberies, nothing. Crime has actually stayed the same if not gone down in this incident, first of all. And then secondly, um, uh, Japan is basically split to a north and a south, and they're almost kind of like a Canada and a United States, even though they're the same country, because they have those rivalries. Mm -hmm. But the ones in the south are actually doing what, um, they're kind of adopting families. Mm -hmm which is um, basically the ones in the south are taking in families, taking from, the in families from the north. They, they're on, they are online, whatever like that, and they'll go on, they'll find a family that they can support. That family comes down to the south and stays with them in their home and they take care of them. Mm -hmm. So that is, the, that is a thing of their culture though, because yeah. even the 50, the 50 uh, people that are at the nuclear plant that are um, like trying to, keep, trying to cool it down and stuff, the whole reason they were saying that you know they don't mind doing it is because they're raised to put community and and country first before the individual self. Yeah, and also um, the the fifty that are there, one of the things that shows is that um, the concern for just the future of their country yeah. is the fifty that are there are all above the age of forty, mm -hmm. and the reason being is that they don't want anyone who's under the age of forty because if by chance they are to get some cancer from it. The ones who are above the age of 40, if they die out, they're fine with that aspect if the younger generation doesn't have that problem. Yeah. So that's, they're, Yeah, they're taking care of the future generation, yeah. basically. So that's like one of the things I found was really interesting. But I mean, concerning the crime thing though, I, we had this study in, um, I think it was anthropology or something, that the police there actually, they don't make... We're going the right way. Yeah, we're going the right way. Just keep going down. Yeah, you have to go, you have to go towards 71st. Um, yeah, one of the things, it's so far it's uh, nine minutes. This is probably gonna be the only video that I upload today. But anyways. One take Saturday. Uh, one take Saturday. Um, but yeah, we had like a study in anthropology that the police in Japan actually don't arrest people though. Like it's, that they're um, arresting, whatever you call it, incarceration ratio or whatever it is, is, whatever, is much lower than anywhere else in the world. So is it reflecting that there's lower crime, or is it just reflecting that they're not arresting as many people? So they're not arresting because one of the so, problems with, exactly. So with that you don't really culture. know if crime has risen. Well, one thing. Well, what's n noticed? I mean, it's not been reported that looting and all that, yeah. which is fine. But I mean, like just crime in general. But I wouldn't say that. Okay, I say crime would now, but I'm not 100% sure of that. But 
it is the fact that it's still there's not a noticeable rise. Whereas yeah. if you look at and the thing is when you get hit with three disasters, I mean two disasters and one possible disaster, you do, then look at the other countries that just get one disaster. Yeah. And they're like, if I mean, a nuclear look at, meltdown look at, um, were to happen in in America, at, yeah, look at New Orleans. Oh. Well, exactly. They had the um, the Hurricane Katrina. I mean, first of all, not as many people died that died in Tokyo. Secondly, mm-hmm. it's was a, I mean, it's a smaller area that was affected compared to Tokyo, and yet there's still the crime rate that they're trying to bring down after that incident. There's they had their crime rate went up like twice, double the what it was normally. And then now they've worked it down, but it's still, like, I think maybe 3.5, if not, like, 10% higher than it normally used to be before the hurricane. So all those things are still effects that are lingering from that. And that was just a hurricane. Not to say, I mean, it's not just a hurricane, but compared to Tokyo, it's not as bad as Tokyo is. Yeah. But, I mean, if you just consider, if that were to happen in America, like, if there was to be a nuclear meltdown here, or potential of a nuclear meltdown, the people would go absolutely crazy people would just because i think i don't know america is an individualistic society where it's like i gotta take care of my own i gotta take care of me and so it's like people would just loot stuff and it would be havoc it would just be really bad um japan the death toll is now what like 10 no no, no not 10,000 it's About no 30. it's way more it's like um it's like 8,000 no 13,000 13,000 confirmed dead 13,000 believed to be dead. I don't know if it's confirmed, but... No, I think it's... Because I checked Twitter, and it's, um... It's, like, 8,000 people confirmed dead, for sure. And then, um... I think they have, like, 10,000 or something missing still. I heard it went up to 13. I don't know. It probably went up. I wouldn't be surprised, but... It's bad. But they're still finding people alive. They found a guy today. Um, yeah. underneath all the rubble and everything. So, I mean... Hopefully, it, they get some more people. Because there's still people that are alive under all that stuff crazy so this is uh i guess we're gonna call it one take saturday because this video is now like 11 minutes long or something we are going to sam ash um and then i don't know what the rest of the day holds so peace out